character puzzles our next chapter for logical reasoning in character puzzles a figure or a matrix is given in which some numbers are filled according to a rule a place is left blank you have to find out a character or a number or a letter from the given possible answers which may be filled in the blank space the best way to understand character puzzles is to solve some relevant questions that's why without wasting any time let's go through some examples in example 1 we can see some figures and a question mark in the third figure now if we look at figure 1 then we can see 6 plus 4 plus 8 equals to 18 and 18 plus 2 equals to 20 so the relation between the four numbers inside the circle that we can see is if we add the summation of the all three numbers with 2 then we are getting the fourth number so similarly in figure b we can see 7 plus 9 plus 8 equals to 24 and 24 plus 2 gives 26 so in figure c we can find 6 plus 5 plus 12 equals to 23 so the required number is 23 plus 2 that is equal to 25 next see the second example now so similarly in the second example we can see three figures with a question mark in figure c so first let's look at figure a and find out the relation between the three numbers in the figure the relation that we can see is 3 square plus 2 square equals to 13 that means the summation of the square of two numbers gives the third number so in figure b we can see 4 square plus 8 square equals to 80 and in the figure c the required number will be 1 square plus 5 square that is equal to 1 plus 25 equals to 26 then the third example in the third example also we can see three figures with a question mark in the third figure so here also we will see figure a and try to set a relation between the numbers the relation is 7 into 6 plus 3 equals to 45 that means the product of the numbers at the two sides of the triangle when added with the number at the base gives the number at the center so with this relation we can also see in figure b it is 5 into 4 plus 6 equals to 26 so in figure c the required number will be 7 into 3 plus 8 that is equal to 29 then let's look at example 4 here also we can see three figures a b c with a question mark at figure c now let's look at figure a and try to set a relation between all the five numbers which are given in figure a the relation that we can see is the summation of the square of the four numbers gives the central number that means 9 square plus 8 square plus 7 square plus 6 square equals to 81 plus 64 plus 49 plus 36 equals to 230 Similarly in figure B we can see 6 square plus 7 square plus 3 square plus 4 square equals to 36 plus 49 plus 9 plus 16 that is equal to 110 so in figure C the required number will be 9 square plus 6 square plus 5 square plus 4 square that is equal to 81 plus 36 plus 25 plus 16 that is equal to 158 next example now in this given figure it looks bit complicated but let's try to simplify it and understand the value of the question mark given inside the figure first of all in this figure as the circle is divided into four equal parts let's take each part as a individual figure then after that we'll try to establish a relationship between the three numbers inside this sector which you can see that 4 plus 3 whole square equals to 7 square equals to 49 So the square of the summation of the two numbers equals to the third number. Similarly, 8 plus 5 whole square equals to 13 square equals to 169. 11 plus 12 whole square equals to 23 square equals to 529. So the required number will be 10 plus 9 whole square that is equal to 19 square equals to 361. Next example. In this example also we can see three figures. with a question mark in figure c so let us look at figure a and try to find out a relationship between all the numbers here we can see 
8 into 5 minus 4 into 3 equals to 28. So the relation that we can see is the product of the number at the top and the left minus the product of the numbers at the right and the bottom equals to the central number. So similarly you can see in figure B it is 12 into 7 minus 8 into 9 equals to 12 and in figure C it will be 5 into 3 minus 6 into the required number equals to 21. So by solving the equation that is formed by figure C we will get the value of the required number that is equal to minus 1. Next example. Now in this figure we can see alpha numerical numbers inside the boxes of the columns and rows. Now if we look at each row we can see terms with A, B and C alphanumerical digits. And as in the second row we can see alphanumerical numbers with A and C so the required question mark will be alphanumerical number of B. Hence in place of question mark there will be B. Now again in first row if we see that 4a into 6c now if we multiply 4 into 6 we'll get 24 and the third number is 24b so here we can see a relationship which is again there in the third row that is 9b into 4c that is equal to 36a so here in each row we can see the product of the first two numbers gives the third number so if we use the same logic in the second row then we'll get 5a into the required number will be 45c. Now we already know that the alphabet is b so the required number with b will be 9. So the required alphanumerical number will be 9b. Then let's see the next example. Now in this figure we can see place for 8 numbers. So to solve this let's first try to establish a relationship between the numbers at the both ends of each axis like 5 and 25 5 square equals 25 like 6 and 36 6 square equals to 36 similarly 4 square equals to 16 so 7 square will be equal to 49 so the required number is 49 